Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video we are going to be talking about how much money an international student makes in the UK working 20 hours per week. So first things first, I'll show you how much I made this month and after that I will be talking about what jobs make this kind of salary and finally I'll talk about what expenses you can manage in this salary. Let's directly begin with how much I made per month. So right here I have the salary which I got credited this month. You can see the date on top. So the amount is 1139.05. So in Indian conversion, it would be around 1,14,000. So that was a little higher than what I normally make because I did do overtime for a few days. But on average, this is how much I actually make. Let me just show you another month. So this is how much I make on average. It says 867 pounds, but that is a little lesser than what I make. So 900 is what I usually make. 867 because I showed up late to work a few days. But on an average, you'll be able to make around 900 if you're getting paid 12 pounds per hour and automatically that will make you around 11 to 12 lakhs per year the jobs which are paying that from what i know people who are working as waiters who make around this much money and i have friends who are security guards who are making way more in fact it is 14 to 16 is what they had told me and if you're working night shifts in a normal job you'll still get paid around 14 now i work at sainsbury's and i get paid around 12 but depending on me being able to get overtime during my breaks i might be able to make a little more so and that month i'll be able to work 40 hours so i get double the salary so if it's 900 i'll get around 1800 if i do not lose any hours so these are the jobs which i'm sure will make you around uh, 12 pounds per hour but there are other jobs which are not that easy to get for example working as a library assistant i had inquired about this and they told me openings are rare but they do pay around 13 pounds per hour and there are some roles which i don't think we indians can do for example dog walking and stuff like that but this is not tracked you might get paid cash for this and uh, that again gives you around 12 to 13 pounds but again you will not get full 20 hours in this kind of roles so only jobs which will give you a permanent 20 hour role per week will be able to make you around 11 to 12 lakhs now i have made another video on how i got a permanent job in the uk in one week and that video will be linked in the description you can check that out it will uh, help you out if you're a student who is planning to move abroad finally coming to the part where what expenses can be managed with this kind of income realistically speaking you'll be able to take care of your food and other expenses and also be able to pay rent if you are not living in an expensive dorm so for example me I had my dorm accommodation paid even before I left from India. So that was not a problem for me. But I know people who have come here and have taken dorms which are expensive. So you'll not be able to manage the rent for that if your uh, rent is around 700 to 800 pounds. Because then you will not be sharing with anyone. So all the expenses are paid by you. But let's say you're doing uh, accommodation which is 450 pounds per month and you're doing a sharing accommodation. I have two friends who live in the same flat and uh, they pay around 450 per month and they are easily able to manage their expenses and rent with a salary of around 900 pounds so you will also be able to do that if you're living in a sharing accommodation or you're taking a rented flat to one of your friends then then you will easily be able to manage that and you might even have around 20,000 left which you can send back to India if you're uh, into that so you'll have to get a sharing accommodation out of 900 450 will go there and you can take around uh, 15 to 20,000 as your expenses if you someone who eats outside then it might go up and after that you can still have some money left to send back to India. Now coming to fees payments, I don't think it is going to be possible with this kind of income. So if you're again working an extra job or just cash, then maybe you'll be able to do fees payments. Otherwise, it is not possible to do both fees payments and maintain your expenses and pay your rent. So you'll have to choose between fees or rent and accordingly decide. But I'd say if you're coming with a placement year or if you still get to stay back a year after your study here, then easily in the following year, you'll be able to pay back your fees completely because you'll be able to work 40 hours straight, which means you're total income will be around 21 to 22 lakhs working in Sainsbury's I do have seniors who have graduated and are still working in Sainsbury's so these people are making around 21 to 22 lakhs and you will be able to do the same if you continue with that kind of job so all in all it is easy to manage expenses if you have a two-year schedule but if you are in a hurry and if you have to uh, send back money to your family then manage rent and your expenses and save some and because that is what I'd advise you don't try to put too much in your plate you are already staying alone and you need to some sometimes eat food outside and you sometimes need to hang out with your friends because you will get lonely and that is important so manage your expenses and come prepared and also try to get that permanent job watch that video which i've made earlier because that will really help you and with that being said i hope you have a great time uh, as a student in the uk and i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care bye bye